when a person has wealth, if it makes them arrogant and it makes them haughty, it, it's actually a punishment for them. Look at Qarun. When Allah describes Qarun, Allah says we gave him so much. Allah says we gave him so much of wealth that the keys, just the keys to the treasures would be heavy for a group of men to actually carry. Imagine the keys to the treasures. And then Allah says him and, and his whole household, his whole house, we caused the earth to swallow it. We sunk him into the ground. So there was that the pleasure of Allah. And you know what? I must mention this point now that it's come to my mind about Qarun. Allah says, there were people who used to say, Oh, I, we wish that we had what Qarun has. What did he have? Trust me, he had so much. We just described. He would have been the wealthiest of the lot. If that wealth came with the arrogance of Qarun, it is a punishment. And if it came with the obedience of Sulaiman, it is actually a mercy of Allah. Then when he was swallowed by the ground, you know what? In fact, prior to being swallowed by the ground, the people with knowledge, what did they say? The people with knowledge warned the others to say, hey, 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 be careful. You don't just wish what this person has like that. If it comes with haughtiness and arrogance, it's not a means of the mercy of Allah or showing the mercy of Allah. So Allah says later on, those people who were wishing to have what Qarun had in terms of material wealth, Allah says, you know what? They said later on, and I'm just mentioning a portion of it, just as well we didn't have what Qarun had. Had we had that, Allah would have destroyed us with him as well. So that is actually a proper answer to what we are talking about to say, be happy with what Allah has given you. He knows why he kept you in your place. But one thing, materialism is taking over very fast. People really are following the latest of everything. I may be guilty of that to a certain extent. May Allah guide me. What I mean is, when there's a new phone, we all want to know, hey, what about it? I, wallahi, without a joke. There's a new phone, there's a new this, there's a new handbag, there's a new perfume. How does it smell? But sister, you've got 40 perfumes on your dressing table. You've hardly touched them. Subhanallah. Clothing, for every occasion we need a new pair of clothing. I don't know if that's the culture here. In fact, here, I was told the last time that when you do a photo shoot, at the same function, you need three pairs of clothes. If that is the case, materialism, we are drowning with that. Cut it. That's a sign of the anger of Allah. It's called extravagance. And Allah tells us, indeed, those who are wasteful, extravagant, etc., those who, uh, you know, just spend as they wish and will, that is tabdeer. Those who go beyond the limits, they are the brethren of the devil, of shaitan. And shaitan is ungrateful. That is ingratitude. When Allah gives you money, you spent 3 million naira on an outfit. Halal. Halal. We're not saying it's haram. Do you realize that that means you worked for almost a whole month, depending on your salary, or a few weeks, and all that you sweated, you went to work early, you came back, you went, you sweated, you came back, you did this, you did that, all of that. That amount of time was in lieu for a piece of clothing. You thought of that. We missed our salah. That's what people do when they go to work sometimes. We gave up a lot of our deen and we earned a little bit saying, I need to earn. And you just bought a piece of clothing, which means Put that piece of clothing in front of you and tell yourself, my Dhuhr, my Asr, my Maghrib, my Isha, for one month went away because I needed this piece of cloth. Have you ever thought of it that way? Same applies with your car. Look at your car every day and say, I've given up Allah so much, but Alhamdulillah, I have a car. A'udhu Billah, we wouldn't want to say that. We don't realize when we spend money, even when you eat food, we eat food, we go for a meal, but you don't, you don't know how many 20s make a hundred. You know that they say how many dollars make a whole hundred. You don't realize you just spent it, but 
take a look at who sweated behind the money. How did that's why the hadith says one of the first things that you're going to be, you know, questioned about your salah, yes, indeed. And then your money, where did you earn? Where did you spend, etc.? Where is it? Where is all this sustenance we gave you? It's something you're going to leave behind in the dunya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from materialism. Don't rush behind that when you get too attached to something and it is coming between you and Allah and your heart is beginning to love it so much that it's now getting between you and Allah. You know what? Cut it. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too. So please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallahu khairan.